Welcome to this short instructional video on how to use the WowWow Knowledge Base. Uh, we're going to look at using simple wiki markup. So first of all you need to head over to the sandbox which is a helpful place where you can play on the wiki and practice your uh, practice anything you like because it doesn't matter what a mess you make here. So you need to be logged in and the article is sandbox so we want to go to the edit tab let's click edit uh, let's get rid of all the rubbish that's there and we're going to start off by making a short page so uh, a good way to start off is by putting a heading in headings are numbered from one all the way down to five and beyond I believe and they're indicated by putting in an equal sign one equals equals heading level one two equals heading level two three equals having heading level three. Uh, the lower the levels, the, the higher the number, obviously the, the more indented those levels are. The wiki is very good at actually taking those and making a good logical structure out of them. The standard behaviour is to have two, uh, two levels, so this is what we'll do. And we'll make a list of things you can find on a farm. So to start off we just simply type in a simple sentence. So um, here is a list of things you can find on a farm. There is lots to list. If you want to then make a uh, paragraph you need to put in just simply two spaces. So uh, here we go. This is my second paragraph. Um, for example, we might want to make farm and make it slightly more emphasised. For example, we might want to make it bold. Well, just so happens this button here, if you click, will put any word that's shaded into bold. And the markup for the wiki to show that it's bold is three ap um, apostrophes like this. And so anything within the three apostrophes will be in bold. If you want. Um, if you want something to use a different type of emphasis, and for example italics, then that will be two apostrophes. And of course if you want things uh, with an awful lot of um, uh, emphasis, you may as well have italicized and bold, which is five. Okay. So let's see what we've got so far. If you go down the page here, you'll see there's a summary. So this is a test in sandbox. It's always good to put a summary in for whatever you enter or change on the wiki. It just helps us to know what you've done. And then we've got save page and we've also got show preview. Show preview is very interesting. Um, if you click that button it won't save the page but it will show us what we've already done. So here we go. Here is a list of things in bold and italic you can find on a farm there is lots to list. So you can see how the, the bold and italic, bold and italic are brought out by this markup. Plus you can see that this heading here um, is, is made, uh, <coughs> is, is put in a different font from everything else. This is my second paragraph. So let's go, uh, let's add another list. This is a, a third level list. Oh, here is my list. And let's do start off by making a bullet list. To start a bullet list, you simply put something that looks a bit like a bullet, which is an asterisk, and you say, uh, okay, things you find on a farm, a cow, cows, sheep, pigs. Now we want to just move this window back up a bit so we can see what we're doing. Sheep, uh, pigs, and um, farmers. Farmers, okay. Now, farmers can of course be male or female, so maybe we want to have uh, another level of bullets. Well, the easy thing to do is you put two bullet marks in like that. So, male farmers, female farmers. So, that's very nice. So, uh, let's keep going. Well, we find tractors as well. And of course you can quite easily put number lists in as well. So here we have, uh, w we can do that as a second level indent by doing asterisk. And then if you want a number list, you put a hash symbol or the American symbol for number. And 
so let's say we've got some Massey Fergie Ferguson oops and then uh, maybe we've got some big red tractors who knows what sort of types of tractors you find on a farm so there's a list. Uh, let's have another um, uh, a, a list of farm produce I like. Okay, this is going to be a number list. So I like milk. I like cheese. I like uh, beef and mutton. Now I, I notice I haven't put a space there in that. Um, that one. We'll, we'll see if that makes any difference. Let's scroll down here, show preview. Here we go. So here is bullet points, bullet points, bullet points, indented bullet points, bullet points, massive far uh, the the two types of tractors as number lists. And here we have a list of farm produce I like: milk, cheese, beef, mutton. Notice how it's put a space between there where there was no space, so you don't have to be too neat and tidy. But actually, it looks much better like that um, and so um, okay cheese well of course there's always two sorts of cheese you've got hard cheese and soft cheese so let's look at that show preview there you go so there we've got a number list and a bullet list so you can see that this builds up as you go now uh, perhaps we can think of something for later we'll put in okay um, stories of great times I have spent on farms and we'll fill this in later um, and famous So there's another one there to go. So now we're um, leaving some space for the future and maybe some things we'll do. We put our summary into here and we're ready to save the page. Here we go, save page. And here we go. Oh, and look, the wiki has put a useful list up here of uh, headings so we can find our way through uh, the entire list here. So if I click Famous Farms on History, there we have. And it's already making this look like a, a nice, tidy article, even though we're talking complete rubbish. If the contents box gets in the way, you can hide it or you can put it back again. But it's a very nice way to build up a, a structured document that looks together and looks clean. And so here you have headings, different forms of emphasis, bullet lists and number lists. And that is your first lesson in how to write in Wiki.